Welcome to the amazing world of Sinclair ZX Spectrum 8-bit computers from the 80s. I have a small collection of these computers and this one and this one have the same problem. The keyboard isn't working. This is a common problem. They have membrane keyboards. Back in the days these computers were known as uh, cheap units with not so, so good keyboards. Uh, the membrane keyboard was worn off over the time and now I need to repair it. There are three ways how to repair a keyboard of Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Today I'm going to, to repair this one. The first way to repair it is to use conductive ink and literally repair the existing broken membrane keyboard. This is quite tricky. The second way is to buy a brand new membrane keyboard, they're still in production actually, and to replace it. This is exactly what I'm going to do. There is a third option. The third option is the most sustainable over time actually. It is to design a brand new printed circuit board with uh, push buttons instead of the membrane and to completely replace it. If you want to do this, the sponsor of this video can help you. PCBWay is a company well known for printed circuit board manufacturing. They offer additional services such as assembly, CNC and 3D printing. If you're looking for inspiration, go to PCBWay.com and visit the shared project directory. There are literally thousands of projects that you can easily order with a few clicks. There is even a project for a mechanical keyboard for ZX Spectrum. You can order the PCB from PCBWay and put compatible mechanical switches on it. Actually, the same approach for having a mechanical keyboard on ZX Spectrum was recently featured in an article at Hackaday. PCBWay is also capable of helping you with interesting projects combining ZX Spectrum with Raspberry Pi Pico, for example for a microdrive emulator. My goal is to have my ZX Spectrum Plus in its original shape, look and feel. Therefore, I decided to do a restoration by using a new membrane. The good news is that there is a company making replacement high quality membrane keyboards for ZX Spectrum and ZX Spectrum Plus, also known as Toastrack. According to the information that I have, these membranes have been manufactured in 2022 in the Czech Republic. The company Syntec is having online shops in the UK and Germany. I'm based in Bulgaria in the European Union, so the easier option for me was to order replacement membrane keyboards for my ZX Spectrum from Syntec online store in Germany. I have to say that the shipping was quite expensive. It's not worth ordering a single membrane considering the shipping costs. After a few days I've received my order in a recycled cardboard box. I made a quick video of the unboxing process, it's nothing unusual. As you can see, the membrane keyboards that I got are in perfect condition, brand new, excellent high quality. The replacement of the membrane keyboard on ZX Spectrum and ZX Spectrum Plus is straightforward and relatively easy. All I need is a screwdriver. Before this video, I have already removed the damaged old membrane keyboard. I did it because I wanted to inspect it and order a compatible replacement part. Step number one is to remove all screws from the back of ZX Spectrum Plus. This way I can open the computer and have access to the motherboard. Well, actually with these um, old 8-bit machines from the 80s, uh, the whole computer is pretty much on a single printed circuit board, but I'm kind of uh, used to call it a motherboard. I will also need a screwdriver to remove the plate that keeps the membrane to the rubber layer of the keys. So basically the keyboard of ZX Spectrum Plus contains plastic keys on the top, below them there is a rubber layer, below it there is the membrane that we are replacing right now and after that there is this plate that keeps all these things together thanks to screws. After carefully placing the brand new membrane, I have to carefully put back things together. Again, a screwdriver is my best friend for this task. I have to be very careful because this is a 40 years old computer and the plastic is kind of old and fragile. 
Please note that on the left and on the right side of the plate on the back, there are small holes for the plastic sticks that guide the membrane and the rubber layer so that you can align them well together. To finalize the replacement of the membrane keyboard, I have to connect it to the printed circuit board of the computer. There are two designated slots on the printed circuit board for this. Although this is a brand new and definitely high quality keyboard membrane, I'm still careful when I'm attaching it to the printed circuit board. It takes some time, but it's a straightforward procedure. Actually, I have to say that the assembly and the disassembly of ZX Spectrum Plus is very easy and it's convenient because all you need to do is to uh, take care of the screws. I have successfully replaced the membrane keyboard and now it's time to have a little bit of fun. Let's turn on the computer and try out the keys. I need two things, a TV and a power supply. I'm going to use the most common old-fashioned way to connect my ZX Spectrum Plus to my TV using an antenna cable. I have already configured my TV to find the appropriate analog uh, antenna channel to which the Spectrum uh, transmits uh, the signal. As soon as I plug in the power supply in my ZX Spectrum Plus, the um, image appears on the screen and I'm ready to rock and roll. Computers like ZX Spectrum or it is great rival from the 80s Commodore 64 were mainly used for playing games, but it is also possible to learn programming on them. So today I'm going to write the most simple application in basic. Hello world. I'm a little bit too young for this ZX Spectrum Plus, so as a child I haven't used it. However, from what I hear from people who were using ZX Spectrum back in the day, they were all complaining from the keyboard. And actually, the ZX Spectrum keyboard is even worse. ZX Spectrum Plus keyboard is kind of okay, but still it's not as good as modern keyboards and you can definitely not compare it to a modern mechanical keyboard. I'm not used to the keyboard layout of ZX Spectrum Plus, so as you can see, I'm struggling even when I'm writing this one-liner application. Anyway, the important thing is that the keyboard is working properly. I'm super happy with this uh, renovation because I have ZX Spectrum Plus in the original shape, look and feel. It all looks good, so let's wrap up this video with some quick conclusions. Is it worth repairing ZX Spectrum Plus nowadays? Yes, absolutely, although the membrane keyboard is a little bit expensive, especially considering the shipping costs. However, I like this approach because it keeps the original look and feel of this machine. Later on, I'm going to do um, kind of an unboxing video, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.